Friday evening, about eight o'clock now. We waited till Luke had come home from school, jumped in the camper, and went back on Beerley. Everything's sorted. Bivvy's up, beds are up, rods are in, and we're just out of chili. There's lots of fish moving, so let's see if we can catch a few. It's always awkward because there's three of us. So uh, base camp set up here in peg nine. Luke's one peg down in peg eight. And although Margot and myself share a bivy, my rods are fishing up towards peg ten. It's really convenient here. There's the bivvies and there's the camper. Everything's available. Our cooker, our toilet, our shower, our fridge for the beer. Although the light's fading fast, a fish just crashed over the other side of the lake. That was all Margot needed to grab her sawn off and a bucket of maggots. She's determined to have a carp on that rod. One of the best things about being out fishing weekends, overnight, whenever really, is you get to see sights like this. Sunsets, sunrises, just beautiful times that most people don't ever see. It's just gorgeous here. Peaceful, quiet, no fish, but I'm loving it. It's what we do. Well, here we go, it's four o'clock in the morning. I had a feeling we were gonna to catch tonight. 12 pound two, pretty little Bailey mirror. Lovely little fish and a brilliant scrap. It's about nine o'clock in the morning now. Sun's up. Looks like it's gonna be a reasonable day. No more action after that fish at four. But there's fish moving everywhere. And we're here. All day today, all night tonight, and most of tomorrow. Let's hope we get some more. Meanwhile, we just enjoy the sunshine. Well, it's Saturday afternoon, enjoying the sunshine, and I hear a screaming alarm. Luke is in. Let's see if we can net it for him. Mind you, everything in mind what's happening. If you can keep it up on the top, you put the blue one. Right, we've got way too short a line now. Must have helped you, Luke. Well, that maggot. Here we go. Luke's just had a screaming run. 11 and a half pound in this very bluey looking cart. Caught on pandemic. Well done, Beanie. Happy days. Okay, we've got another ridge monkey recipe for you. This is one that I've been doing in my cafe and it's selling really well. It's a smoked applewood and mushroom melter. So I'm going to show you how to make this. First things first, let's light the gas and get the ridge monkey on. We get that hot. A little bit of butter or oil in the bottom. Butter obviously tastes so much better. But if you're a bit health aware, then oil it is. Simply just slice the mushrooms. These are just chestnut mushrooms, but you can use any mushrooms. Chuck those in. You 
want to have plenty of mushrooms in there and bearing in mind they shrink quite a lot when you cook them that should do it that was about five mushrooms i think so we're just going to pan fry those in the ridge monkey to start with while that's going on we're going to get our bread out a little bit different today than the other one toasties that i've shown you because we're not going to rub it with butter on the outside we're going to dip it in egg make like an eggy bread with it which makes it more of a complete meal so next thing is to crack an egg into here just smash up the egg because that's what the bread's going to dip into in a minute there we go that's ready we'll get our cheese out this is a West Country cheese, it's a smoked apple wood, really nice. I've also at the cafe, because I tend to cook with Dorset ingredients, we use a smoked Dorset red, uh, but you could use any type of smoked cheese or indeed an unsmoked cheese, it uh, depends what you prefer. I have to say the smoked red actually looks really good inside because when you cut it open you've got the red colour of the uh, cheese which is nice. So there we go, we've got the sliced cheese on the bread and one slice. We're just mushrooms are just doing their thing here. Once they're cooked through, then we're gonna put that on top of the cheese. A waiting game for a minute okay as you can see we've just uh, sweated off the mushrooms a little bit of color on them and the juices are starting to come out of them Steve just right, quite rightly pointed out that I've very naughtily been using a metal implement in my ridge monkey but of course I know not to touch the metal so really plastic is the way forward every time we're nearly there with this A little bit longer just to get the caramelization on them so it adds to the flavor very close now they smell fantastic chestnut mushrooms have a little bit of a stronger flavor than the ordinary ones i think but um, it really doesn't matter which ones you use. Right, now simply, I'm just going to plonk that on top of there. Now at the cafe, we just simply, um, on one of the slices of bread, rub very thinly with either chutney or Dijon mustard. But I don't have that with me today. So I'm doing the simplified version. The idea of this sandwich is it's sort of voluptuous, got plenty going on in the middle of it. I'm just going to pull that off the heat because I don't want that butter to burn in the middle because that's what I'm going to use to cook the bread in a minute. There we go, I've got an alien mushroom here. Simply just close that off now and press it in tight. Right, I'm going to move that back on the heat. Just a tad more butter just to cook the egg. And I'm going to try and dip the bread in there which isn't very easy <laughs> oops didn't want to do that well saved there we go we've got the egg on there just simply i'll tell you just for ease i'm just going to dribble the rest of the egg on top of them rub it on there we go fortunately I have kitchen roll here more shallow pan is the way forward I think limited tools by the bank now we're just going to close that off because we want it to steam a bit because what we're looking for is the cheese to melt in the middle so that when we cut it open you've got the eggy bread on the outside and then the cheese melting and molten in the middle so just we'll wait a few minutes now 
Okay, it smells to my nose like it's starting to cook now, so I'm just going to flip the whole thing over. There we go. The egg is set. That's nice and firm. Now we'll just do the other side for a minute. Okay, let's just have a little look here. There we go. We've got a nice glaze on both sides now. I'm just going to lift the whole thing out, as you can see. Put it on our plate. Okay, just a, cutting this one open. As you can see, look. Lovely molten cheese in the middle. Perfect just for eating. There we go. If ever there was a fish that likes to tease you, it's Shadow. He just loves a bit of sunshine and lies there like that. Oh, there it goes. Waving his tail as he hides off behind the island again. Well, we don't always use the Ridge Monkey. Tonight we're having a barbecue on the Cala Grill to go. We love cooking gadgets. Well, the night's drawing in again. The moon's up. We've got another full moon. Not so pretty tonight. No beautiful sunset. But still a beautiful place. Fingers crossed. There's fish still moving. Hopefully we'll have some. We're the only ones on here now tonight. So the odds are in our favour. Bring them on. But just as there was no gorgeous sunset last night, there's no gorgeous sunrise this morning. Very quiet night, fish were crashing all night again. Really disappointed not to have had one. Got that last morning blues feeling on this morning, knowing we've got to pack up and go home at the end of the session. I woke to a single beat this morning to look out and see a kingfisher perched on my rod. I managed an awful picture with the phone couldn't reach the camera and by the time I tried to do anything it was gone. A magic moment, perhaps it bodes good. We've still got a few hours, fingers crossed. Well the bivvy's packed away, the van's all loaded up, just the rods to go. It hasn't happened this morning just as it didn't happen last night. It's beginning to rain now and it's Father's Day so we've got some visiting to do. Until next time, that's it from Cooking and Carping.